Welcome back to the channel on this beautiful fall, a little bit crisp morning. I'm finally back out here at the range after a little hiatus. You know, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know it has been a while. But today, I thought I'd make a very important video, and it's kind of timely, about how I personally have prepared myself for a zombie invasion. Now, just before we get started, this is by no means my complete zombie kit. It is also by no means what you should use. This is just what I use, me personally. It's what I have gathered together from research, practice, and what I use for zombies. First and foremost, a zombie invasion can be a very stressful event. So you're gonna need to get yourself a good cigar. This one in particular is a CAO Colombia. Pretty good cigar for in the morning. It's not terribly strong, so I'm not gonna be over here in the bushes puking from smoking a cigar first thing in the morning. Kinda of light bodied, but still got some good flavor. So there's step one. So we've got just a few things laid out on the table here. We've got a few rifles, pistol, a couple of bladed weapons. We'll go over all this in more detail. But this is just your basic kit. This is, in my opinion, what you would need bare minimum for zombies. Okay, first off, you're gonna need some guns. I feel sorry for the people in the other countries that, that don't have access to this kind of weaponry, but they might be able to get a 22, which we, we do have one of those on the table here. And if you can, this is probably be my first choice. Nice little 1022 with a scope on it. Plenty of these, 25 rounds. You can reach out pretty good, especially with some high velocity rounds. And if you need to be ultra quiet, throw a suppressor on there, get you some subsonic stuff. They'll never know where you are. And with that particular gun, I can be back at around 100 yards or so, pick off 20 gauge shotgun shells off of the range up here. Very accurate little gun. Now, if you're wanting to step it up a little bit, basic AR. You don't need anything super fancy. I mean, it's just zombies we're dealing with. Uh, they tend to be a little slow in their movement. Sling, very important. I like this one. Blue Force gear has an adjustable thing on it where you can make it tighter or looser, whatever. Like I said, nothing super fancy. This one is an Anderson Lower Palmetto M4 clone kit. And I have fancied it up a little bit with uh, some Magpul furniture. So you can add a few attachments on there if you wish. Another very important item you should always have on you anyway. Good pistol. I like the Glock 19. Versatile magazine options. But if you're uh, feeling a little fancier during the zombie invasion like I am today, Colt 1911. And of course remember 1911 is a single stack. This is double stack, so you would want to have backup magazines accordingly. As well as these. Another thing, a lot of people are really big on these fancy plate carriers, chest rigs and all that. If the zombies take over, it's most likely gonna be a surprise. You're not really gonna know it. Get you plenty of these. Bandoliers, super cheap. I think I got this one on, I got two of these on eBay for like $13. I just have this one right now with some P mags. One per pouch, because the Magpul magazines being plastic, they're a little bit thicker, and the flap won't close with two in it. But if you use the metal GI mags, you can fit two in each one, giving you a total of six. Throw it over your chest, you're good to go. And you can stack several of these in a milk crate. I have them at the ready. And now depending on how long this zombie invasion lasts and how many zombies you're dealing with, you're probably gonna run out of ammo. In that case, have a good blade on you. This one, belt loop, keep it on you all the time. Gerber strong arm, nice thick blade, good sharp blade too, and it will hold an edge for a while. And if you need something a little more heavy duty, this is good for zombies and good for just general brush cutting, getting stuff out of the way. It's a Kershaw, it's also nice and thick. 
I'm not exactly sure what the name of this one is. Uh, when I'm editing, I'll put it down here in the video. Good big, big honking knife right there, as we say in Tennessee. Gloves. Whatever you like. Cheap. I get these at Harbor Freight. They're pretty good. They're comfortable. They fit me. You're going to need some gloves. Zombies are nasty. And on that thread about zombies being nasty, I don't know if you've ever been around a zombie or not, but they're basically a dead, decayed human come back to life. Or it could be a dog, cat, bear, whatever. One of these very well could possibly save your life. Have you a nice full face respirator with the uh, canisters on there to keep the smell out, keep any sort of toxins. You know, we don't know what caused this zombie invasion. It could be, you know, it could be some new, you know, some new virus or something. So, respirator. Get you one, or several. And last, but definitely not least, this kind of goes back to the thread of the guns. Extra ammo, as much as you can conceivably get or carry. I know right now in 2020, ammo is kind of hard to come by. But get you some more. And me personally, I like to store these just in my 45, just store them loose. Some people may have a different philosophy. It is a little harder to keep track. I know when I dumped that in there, it was a 500 round bag from Blazer. And on the vein of the 22, you know, you can load up on these 500 rounds in this little box here. Take care of zombies from a good distance all day long. And one thing I forgot to mention, flashlight. Get you a good flashlight. I'm a big fan of Olight, even though, you know, like most other things you probably use in your daily life, they're made in China, but they're good. I've had these for several years. I've also got an Olight S10R baton. This has been my everyday carry light for at least five years or so, maybe more. Never failed me. Good battery life. These have excellent battery life with the uh, 18650, I believe it is. I've got several of these. Also got the, I think that's called a crenulated bezel. Basically, it's nice for jabbing things. You got pointy stuff on the end there. You can use this as a weapon if need be. This will definitely get somebody off of you if you go to stabbing at them. Oh, and there's yet one other thing I forgot to mention. And that is a good shotgun. Remington, Mossberg, whatever. Whatever you like, and however you like to shoot it. But a good shotgun would be extremely advantageous in the event of a zombie apocalypse. And another thing, always make sure to get out and practice with your stuff. Make sure it works. Because one of these BX25 magazines I have is not exactly 100% reliable. So I need to send that one back to Ruger. But this one seems to be. Nothing like a 1911 to fend off some zombies. So like I said, this is by no means a full-on exhaustive video of everything you might need for a zombie invasion. But it, this will get you started and keep you alive for a while until you can get your team together and fend off the zombies. Thanks for watching.